that could be so consumed with like thinking way too deeply about life. And then you kind of become even more like self-wrapped and like selfish and looking inward because you're just, you're not like realizing that it's like been given and it's like, it's a gift to like actually just exist. I go through phases of thinking about things mm -hmm. in different ways where you, because sometimes it's so fun to just sit and think about what could be and like what, like looking for the answers. And yeah. then you're like looking inside yourself, mm -hmm. which like, it's such a tricky thing. Cause sometimes you're like, oh, you like, it like slips into narcissism, but you think mm -hmm. you're looking for answers. Yeah. For like problems that have to do with not just you, but everyone you meet and everyone around you. Yeah. But you're looking inside yourself and so, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And yeah. then, and then other days you're like, yo, who, cares, man. I need, to fig <laughs> I need to figure out how to like <laughs> install like, routine in my life. Yeah, you, you right, know what I mean? Like open up emotionally or something. I got real issues that are like, <laughs> that have to do with me and not all of mankind. But I I, I, do you go through like phases of that? Yeah, I mean, I can't tell when the phases are happening usually. Yeah. I'm just so in them sometimes, but Right now, I'm definitely <laughs> in that phase of uh, of self, because yeah, I, I just I look for answers, and it's hard to not question just having people around me like that love me, like my girlfriend that helps me, reminds me that like you're not gonna figure out all the answers. It's only gonna lead to more questions, which also makes me think of like the Bible stuff of saying like having too much wisdom is actually foolish, or like becoming too wise or becoming like too having too much knowledge is actually evil because it takes you away from like the moment of like you know what life actually is supposed to be you know what i always found interesting was that um in the garden of eden it was simply it was simply like the the one thing that God didn't want them to have was knowledge. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> knowledge of good and evil. So Because it's kind of like, because it, it, it's literally, it's it's like there's innocence and then there's not. So there yeah. is something, I, I do think like all Satan really offered them was like, yo, do you want to know? He was yeah. like a professor, you know what I mean? He's yeah. like your first year of college and you're like, you believe in, you believe in creationism and then this guy comes and, Pull down the whiteboard and he's like, so you know, a million years ago, what if there was an explosion? And then you're you're open to all these possibilities and then you know what and it makes sense. It, yeah. And then you like you slowly you lose all the meaning in your life and but you're it like, derails it, yeah. You know what I mean? It's so weird. It could like it could be so. It's just the if that fucks you. It's the if, exactly. Cause <laughs> what like, <laughs> cause cause what yeah, what good is it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's so weird. I mean but also it's infinite possibility. Yeah. And it, it allows, like, as humans, like, we can really do, like, so many crazy, seemingly impossible things and only because of if. Yeah. But you always sacrifice. That's that's the thing. Everyone that in history that, like, does all these these crazy things we admire, like, we don't mm -hmm. know what they sacrifice to get it. Yeah. And that that's also the narc... I mean, I fucking love... I don't even say boo, but I definitely have some artists that are, you know, can be considered narcissists. And, and I, I, I have pity. Uh, I admire them so much. Yeah, because, I mean... It takes balls to, to be, to, to like commit to that level of self-indulgence. Yeah. I feel like life is a simulation sometimes when you're able to learn from like other people's Mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> but then that feels narcissistic too to think, I don't know. <laughs> My mom is like, she does what she believes is right. Yeah. And she always does. And because she does, she has an ex exceptional level of confidence in mm -hmm. herself. Yeah. And in her seed. Mm hmm. She's like, I'm a good girl and good things happen to good girls. So my kids are going to be lit. There's a beauty in that of like, yeah. even though our parents are kind of, sometimes we can think they're over spiritual and kind of delusion. Oh, for sure. Rule with faith. But they like, I mean, if they're good people, good people are going to be good people no matter what, even though they have things that have like held us back and probably make us feel like pushed aside in some ways. But yeah, I, 
I love I love my mom and I love I love women and I just love like yeah. the 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 feminine nature. I feel like we we both do. Yeah. Um, Cause most of our songs are just probably about God or women. It's the, and it's <laughs> kind of the same thing. You know what I mean? It is the same thing. It definitely is. It's the is. same thing. It's like, yeah, I just I just need a hug. <laughs> really? You know? I'm just yeah. I'm this. I mean, and I, I grew up with hug. two sisters too, so I I always felt like I wasn't I didn't have anyone masculine to like push me. So yeah, I yeah. always just reverted more to being like emotional and like. Uh, yeah, just less, I guess, less bravado than like a lot of my classmates and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you, you 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 steer to sadness more than anger. Yeah. Uh, upon becoming our own men and thinking for ourselves and like religion in a lot of ways, and probably in more ways than it should have, mm -hmm. just represented oppression. Yeah. As opposed to freedom to, as opposed to freedom. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Which tells so many people that's what it is. Yeah. But because of that, like, I I threw it away. Mm -hmm. You know, I shed it. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, when I listen to my songs, I'm like, oh, I'm just trying to fill that hole. Mm -hmm. And you feel you try and fill it with women. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you fill it you fill with with friends or with with you know with substances, whatever it is. But it's like, it is. Uh, everything becomes a lot more dramatic. Because. You used to have a, you used to have an answer for what happens when you die. Yeah. And now you don't. Damn. <laughs> and if maybe if you grew up without that answer, you'd be like, you'd it be wouldn't bug fine. you. It's just kind of yeah. like my girlfriend is like that. She's like, just doesn't believe in heaven or hell at all, and it's like fine. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just <laughs> like, how how do you just wake up and you're like, I'm gonna die one day, and that's it. I think I've seen The Weeknd say this at some point. He was like, you're no longer you anymore. Yeah. Like you become a business and- An idea. You And an idea and like, you, if you offer a service that's good, people are obviously gonna be on your side. But if you offer a service that's bad, people are gonna complain. Bro, they will <laughs> feed you to the wolves, that's the thing. <laughs> it's so weird. Just finished, uh, finished up on the Superpowers tour. Yeah. How's it feel to be done? So like such a relief. Yeah. Such a relief. How I, many how many dates? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Eight weeks. Sheesh. Yeah. And you got sick for DC, right? Yeah, man. And in Toronto. Mm hmm You got sick in Toronto too, but you still Well no show. Toronto after the show. Just being home. It was so good to see all like, you know, so many people mm -hmm. from my past, but it was also just so overwhelming and I think I just like Yeah. You know, no, I pushed it's, myself. It's and a lot, yeah. I just, yeah. So the next morning I woke up, I like, I thought I had a fever or COVID or something. I had nothing, but mm -hmm. I felt like shit. So I, just, I was like, this show will be trash if I do this. You have to at all times be conscious that your ego is, is fucking with you. So it's like, mm -hmm. there are songs that I've made that um, I hate and I hate them because they were reactions to being perceived in a certain way and trying to make people perceive me in a different way. Yeah. So it wasn't a, it wasn't an honest, like, um. I pride myself on being honest at all times with what I'm making. That's the only thing I can use to, that's the only thing I know about myself that can rationalize why people like me and they don't like the next dark skinned nigga that looks basically like me that makes love songs. Right. What exactly. I'm doing is not, is not, um, it's not it's, new. Yeah, it's, it's not you. new. It's me. Yeah. So I have to be like, okay, maybe I have something to say and people like the way I say it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah. it's just chaos and I don't know what I'm doing and it's like it's very scary. <laughs> well, yeah, but, it's like, like it's the infinite amount of things that could be why people like you. That makes me think of my girlfriend too again where she she likes me for ways that other people like like things that I'm insecure about like Yeah other stuff that girls have said that they don't like, like she likes, but she likes that because of whatever, her genetics, her That's mom. That's who she is, exactly. Yeah, it's just, we, it's just like. You guys fit. Thousands of, yeah, thousands of like, probably other people's decisions to like, why that works. People, people are, we're just so many other decisions on like, every day, like, why you wore a green sweatshirt. Like maybe four years ago, you seen a green sweatshirt like that and you were like, 
and and now someone else and now I'm mentioning that and, and that's, now it's a thing and now that's affecting something else there's like there's so many predetermined things and then when you win a Grammy one day someone's gonna wear that remember that you wore that green sweatshirt like I don't know it's yeah like, it's just weird sometimes I, I really do think that I know everything and I, <laughs> it's like that's the fastest way to to, to, to to being a fool I don't know sometimes I feel like with being an artist you have to, you have to be so confident to know that your idea is working because I've played ideas for people and they've been like nah this is not it and then it's like it a is hit. It. yeah and then I was like no nah, but I knew I knew it was it and I was like in delusion yo but sorry, then, no sorry, sorry that affects you. everything it's like, what do you, do you just totally random what how do you feel about like I'm so weird about feedback <laughs> because I'm like, this has nothing to do with me. This is your art. Like everyone's mm -hmm. art really doesn't like. Yeah. You're asking for a subject. It's like, like a painting. Like, how how can you comment? There's on so much how shit that I think it? sucks. Mm -hmm. That either I come around later and I'm like, oh my bad, this is fire. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like I've seen myself. Well, I have those moments of yeah. like, of like. Okay, I listened to it two weeks later, and I'm like, okay, maybe it wasn't bad. as good. <laughs> maybe I was tripping a little bit, but that's also an energy thing because I'm like, I'm like, but maybe that day it was like, it was fire. like because of the temperature outside, and like maybe yeah. there was like for some reason that that there's like songs that don't go viral for five years or they go viral and then they never never hear them because either. it's like it's a timing and an energy thing. But it's all a yeah, it's all a mind a mind game. It's like you can't you can't control it. Madison Square Garden, you just sold it out along with me and Omar yeah. Apollo. Yeah. Shout out to the dog. Definitely MSG was the greatest um it's the best I've ever felt on a stage. And I think it, it came from like coming at the end of tour. Mm -hmm. Tour is so tricky because I love it, but at the end of every tour, I swear that I'll never do it again and I hate it. It's yeah. like that kind of, it's that extreme range of emotions. Mm -hmm. But man, MSG was absolutely insane. Yeah. No, it was. And I'm so thankful. Yeah, that shit was, that shit was crazy. It was, it was insane for me too, I mean, Bro, you, I'm not joking, bro, because I've seen you a, a bunch of times on this tour, but I, we all really showed out. Like, I... We knew you, it was up. No, you went absolutely fucking insane. And you brought the choir out, bro. <laughs> and it's just like, I just gave you, like, I just felt the goosebumps. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The goosebumps that you feel with the first time you hear Now Behold the Lamb or mm -hmm. some shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God, this guy's doing this right now. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I don't remember anything do you no i could see anything because you know what else because you had this like especially your demeanor like i love seeing you perform because your demeanor is so like it's so gentle <laughs> like off off stage when you get on stage like you're like you look like you'll punch a hole through Bro, you're like you're not... just kind of like head down like very like and also, because the the, 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 the the records aren't, don't sound as, you get so aggressive on stage and mm -hmm. it's so cool to see. Because that's one thing that like, I mean, that's one thing that I want for myself to be able to tap into. I don't, mm -hmm. I saw my, all my music is very much, you know, mm -hmm. gentle. I have aggressive feelings all the time, but like, ex I'm just very uncomfortable expressing them where people can see. Yeah. But like you just go on stage and it's like you're in your room and <laughs> you're like you're like 16 and your mom just told you you can't go to the school dance. <laughs> exactly. And you're like fucking like bro, I swear to God. That's ghost boy. I'm gonna <laughs> run away from home and I'm gonna be a big star and no one will ever tell me no ever again. That's all I can bro, see. You're just pacing the, the stage. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, bro. I know that I know that walk. Well, that's it. I mean, I want people to believe that, because like yeah, the reason I don't really remember anything, I feel like, is because it is so much a character. Like, I am that sixteen-year-old kid of like, I'm gonna be a star, and I mean that's a, that that character specifically I've been channeling is called Charlotte, which is like the the mm. next album. 
like kind of about fame and like just angry <laughs> and like yeah but then it's also the reality of it is like oh but i'm also 26 and i'm like i mean obviously you have a moment that you can get into fame so it's there's like a realness where i can express myself and be like no i am fucking hungry and like i do want to be a star yeah um but i don't know at what cost because i have all this religious shit that says like you're probably gonna want to kill yourself yeah. or you might um if you go down this route um but i don't know I, I i still get messages that are like people are like i had a prophecy that this was going to happen to you three years ago it's and like crazy. i remember i got this one dm that was actually like three or four years ago that kind of kind of said some of the stuff that's happening now like i'm gonna make music in this way for the for this audience and like i'm gonna basically go down a path of like destruction yeah and that stuff messes with me sometimes yeah 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 i don't know it's really like a bcad thing i just remember the day that i decided that i was gonna do this mm -hmm. and it was just because of the way i was raised i was like it was also a day i decided that i was okay with going to hell you know what I mean? That's kind of like that's because so it's a binary thing. It's like, yo, Damn. if you're gonna do this, then you're gonna go to hell. That's what everyone told you. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Damn. And I was like, I life pretending like I don't want to do. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's either Can way you lose. Fake. Yeah, it's exactly. Either way you lose. Either, way you either lose. I live in hell on earth because mm -hmm. I my only other skill is washing dishes. <laughs> that's what I would be doing right now is washing dishes in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Or, or you know, I just risk uh, eternal damnation. So I'm just, you know, cross my fingers. But sometimes, sometimes it really fucks with you because now it's kind of like, it is a path of destruction. It's like, some days, you know, when, when something bad happens and you're feeling down, mm -hmm. I make decisions really not caring about my life. Because if you, if you feel like you don't care if you live or die on Earth, mm -hmm. and then you're also like, I'm already going to hell too, it's yeah, like, bro. bro Imagine give me at like I don't care and you make decisions <laughs> you without care. thinking about the future because you've given up on your future Exactly because your future is fire and hell you because know I mean? you're so dramatic Yeah, and you're like you're in a relationship and you're like You're just willing to fucking go you don't care because no. you're like because you think that dramatic, but you have to so you're, you're your really coming to like no Yeah, we're in we're in this we're like like uh Nothing to lose Kind of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It is, which I guess is a is a an asset, but it, it mm -hmm. is very much like, a, yo, I'm already dead. I'm like a dead man walking. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that so, is some crazy shit. God or the devil? Yeah. Which will it be? One you will choose and sacrifice to me. You can't decide. Then you will die. You try and try. It eats you alive. Which yeah. one will you choose? Either way, you lose. Yeah. And at the end of the Man. day, it's like, it's only messing my brain up more to think that dramatic. But the other side of that is like, to not think dramatic is to think completely it's like- It's kind of chaotic in itself. Yeah. Like there's like, nothing is just, anything really. Yeah. You I'm know like, what I mean? I want to believe I'm a Christian, but I also know that I'm doing stuff that Christians don't do. I'm trying to be better, but not in the context of Christianity. I'm just mm. trying to like I just, I do I want to be a good person I want I want um it to be a joy for other people to be around me and I want other people to benefit from my existence. Yeah. I'd really I'd love to leave a net positive behind me, mm -hmm. but it has nothing to do with God or with 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 Christianity. Let me say, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. But my only solace is like as far as because religion and God are like two different things. Yeah. Religion is like God's um. Organi it's like, like business structure. About God. Yeah. You don't know what the CEO is like. Mm -hmm. But as, as, aside of what he tells you. Maybe religion is just different cultures' perspective on God. On the God. same thing. On the same yes. thing. But it's like we all see it a different way, but it's still the same energy that we are trying to like put in words, which can never be put in words. Yeah, it's like, you know, the parable about the blind man and the elephant, like, mm -hmm. like five blind men. One's touching the leg, he thinks he's touching a tree. One's touching the trunk, he thinks he's touching a fire hose. One's mm. touching, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're all touching an elephant, but they're blind. They can't see that they're just l different perspectives mm -hmm. looking at, the, like, experiencing the same thing. 
Yeah. But I mean, we're if just I was like, God, I would do that to people. I would fuck. With, I would like. <laughs> yeah. And I Power would make. Power vibes. I would make them all think something different about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My personality. So, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's his plan. <laughs>